Come on. Come here. What's wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a simulator. <laughs> Come here. Oh, gee, help. Evie, I swear, if you open that door when I just closed it and you just stood out there doing nothing. Come here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another studio vlog. We are back from taking our little break from filming and vlogging. We took a break the New Year's week, which is also inventory week for many businesses. So there was just piles of things being counted everywhere. We did post two videos in between vlogging, which is Kim and mine's 2021 planner lineup and then Kim's sketchbook tour, which has a lot of sketches for the shop. So we thought it was interesting to share and I hope you enjoyed it. So we're back to filming, but it's already Wednesday and it's my first time talking to you in this vlog. So in my defense, <laughs> I bit my lip and it formed into a canker sore and it hurt to talk so if I'm holding my mouth differently than how I normally do or if I'm talking weirder it's just because of my canker sore but it's easier and it hurts less today than the past few days I'll just give you a little recap for what we've been doing this week and it's basically designing week because next week is our first releases of the new year the theme for new releases is like self-care, wellness, mindfulness, all that stuff because it's like new year, new goals. It's a theme that the three of us sisters really care about and we're really trying to mindfully apply to ourselves in our lives and our habits. So we're all contributing something to this release which is pretty exciting. So Amy is creating skincare character stickers that I personally requested because gotta get on top of that, I'm aging. Can't be young forever. And then Kim is creating various workout penguins. So like I think there's some yoga in there and there's like dumbbell lifting in there. Of course the dumbbells are like super teeny tiny because penguins flippers are like where's the muscle in the flipper? I have no idea. But it's there, that's how they swim. So they have to be able to lift weights if they can swim, right? Hi, happy Tuesday. Uh, so yesterday I didn't record because I was mostly doing spreadsheet and bookkeeping things which are really boring that nobody ever wants to see, so... Um, yeah, anyway. So today I'm going to work on the Penguin Workout stickers, which I showed you the sketch of in the vlog... No, not vlog. In the sketchbook tour last week that Helen edited for me. Thank you. Yeah, and I did that in my iPad, and I'm just going to keep doing that today and tomorrow. And hopefully I finish tomorrow. And if I don't, then I'll be working it on the weekend, and I'll show you the end result next week. Okay, so this is my book stand, um, made for books. So it's not the perfect thing for, you know, using as an iPad stand, um, because it has such a big lip down here for books. But... Uh, it does hold up my iPad vertically and um, at way more angles than th my really cheap case does. Yeah, so anyway, here I already put in a really poorly taken photo of the workout penguin. And I think this one, this one, this one all got the most votes. And then this one, this one, this one, this one got... Oh, got equal votes. I'll just start with these three and then I may or may not make... well I'll make at least two of these ones. Uh, we'll see which ones I decide on. Um, I also put in this random image of one of the previous penguins I drew and that this is just for scale or proportions basically. Um, I know that a lot of... well I shouldn't say a lot. I know that some people who make planner stickers they have kind of a library of heads and bodies, so like there'd be like a round shape for the head and then like a, a body shape and they just cycle through their library of shapes and um, for different sticker sheets and then maybe add in like things like um, 
a wreath or like a scarf or something like that on the same bodies that they've already created. I don't really do that for my penguins because, well one, there's not really one penguin, there's there's kind of a, I kind of imagine them as like a group of different penguins that are all just kind of having fun um, together. Yeah, so this is the approximate size that I'm going for. And let's make a new layer. And I'm just going to draw outlines of those ones. So let's hide that. I'm gonna draw outlines of these ones and then kind of just try to match the scale. I'm not really gonna do a tutorial since I don't know how to use this thing yet, but um, I'll just walk you through what I'm doing. So first, I'm just gonna hide this layer because it's a reference layer and I'm going to duplicate this one because for some reason on Procreate, if I enlarge something or zoom in with a selection tool, it just crops it and I'm not sure how to do it without cropping it. So I'll hide this one, which is locked. This one I'll unlock and make bigger. This is the first one we're gonna do here. Oh, if you don't know, I don't think that Procreate has this on default, but up here, this is called a quick menu. And I have no idea where the actual layer opacity is in this app, but I mean, I set it up a quick menu, so now I can use layer opacity for all the layers. And make this one about there, that looks good. If you don't have the quick menu already, this is a tip I saw from like three different artists, so I'm not even sure who to give credit to. So it's up here in settings and then preferences, gesture controls, quick menu, and I have mine set on double pencil tap. Okay, so I learned something new today, which is if uh, you get a spam phone call while you're recording, it stops your recording and then you don't even realize it for a while. So anyway, so what I did so far is I made a sketch basically on top of my old sketch or the, the sketch in the photo and try to make the proportions similar to my reference penguin here. So the head is about this tall. I'm not really concerned about the width of it because it's a different angle. And then its body is about this high, which is approximately sort of about that high. This one's a little bit longer, but it's okay. I mean, I kind of view these penguins not like all the same penguin. It's more like they're different penguin buddies that all have fun together. So like these would all be different penguin friends working out together. And yeah, so starting from here, I'm just gonna go in and on a new layer, draw again and basically refine what I have here. And lastly, I created some functional habit tracker stickers and then some podcasts and audiobook stickers because we do love to listen to those too. The animal eye masks that I've been drawing in the studio vlogs are going to be part of the new releases. So those will be out soon because sleeping is important and you need to get some sleep too. <laughs> the yoga stickers. They're like, it's just like yoga mats. There's a yoga bag. There's a lotus in there. There's like a yoga block, a bolster, just yoga supplies. So there's gonna be a deco sheet of yoga stuff. 
yeah, we've just been designing all of that and I think I have basically all the stickers formatted besides my animal eye mask, which I need to finish drawing and coloring. And then I'm waiting on Kim and Amy to finish their designs so that I can format them as well. And since I'm using the graphics pen tablet this time around, I'm sharing it with Amy so we kind of switch off, which is fine. We don't care. We both have plenty to do, even without the graphics tablet. Like, we gotta do listing photos and she has orders and all that stuff. Oh yeah, we've been packaging orders, of course. Orders are always priority for us and we did decide to try out new belly bands in our packaging because we just want to like keep um, upgrading. Is that the right word? We want to keep upgrading our packaging and our customer opening experience, if that makes sense. Like when you are wrapping our products, we want it to be an experience in and of itself. Some of you have already known this or may have noticed, but we print our freebie designs, our washi freebies designs on the margins of our sticker paper. And this way we can reduce waste because otherwise the margins of the papers would be thrown into trash. But we can print freebies on there and other packaging supplies on there for you all to have an experience. Now belly bands are generally thicker and not made of sticker paper. We thought printing them on cigarette paper, you can still reuse it as like a longer strip of washi tape or checklists or whatever you want in your stationery. Our first design was pretty simple. It's just our company branded 3YA heads. We did change it up since then, which you'll see in the future when we start printing those designs. We just changed most of the dots just to plain white so that you can use it like a checklist instead of a bunch of our heads. And we kept our three heads in the middle of the belly band. I did struggle to like figure out how to package with belly bands because I've never done it before. Like I've seen belly bands, I've opened things that had belly bands on them, but for some reason when I came down to packaging my own stickers, I was getting pickier. Which I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's my own products that I'm sending out. It was also kind of fun to figure out packaging because I do enjoy packaging. It's one of my favorite processes of owning a company myself, especially a stationary company. I can't wait till we expand into more things. Other than freebies and packaging, we have printed our logo just repetitively on along the strip of the margin because you never know when you need to put your logo on something and we have used it quite a bit so that is something I recommend doing too. Now printing freebies in the margins of the paper is not our idea. It is something we saw in the video of another sticker shop owner like years ago. I wish we saved it. I've been trying to find that specific video from the lady who gave that tip, but I can't find it now. I'm gonna keep looking though, so eventually I can share it. Because thanks to her tip, we were able to save a bunch of money, save a bunch of our paper, and again, reduce our sticker waste because you can't recycle sticker paper. So even if you don't have a sticker shop, but you still are creating things for yourself, I would recommend printing in the margins when you can. We didn't show what Amy was using in our planner lineup video because at the time she didn't really have anything decided yet and she used significantly less planners than Kim and I. <laughs> she does have like a bunch of journals and stuff and other planners she used from last year, but this year she's starting out with this mini recollections planner. It is undated. So here's the monthly, if you can see. And this is the weekly, it's just a vertical mini one. And seems to be working out for her. She's definitely a person who likes to color code with colorful pens. But I gave her some of my stickers that she can just date it with and We'll see from there. So that's basically everything on our little studio vlog update. We were basically just working on a screen the entire time other than me working on orders. So <laughs> felt like there wasn't much for us to show you and it was kind of like redundant. So hopefully next week we can show you more fun items like the physical stickers. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you have a great week, great day, 
and a happy new year. <laughs> Remember to eat some yummy snacks and try something new. And goodbye. Have a good day or night or like whatever you are having. <laughs>